Two Types of Gravity, written by Samian Knight, read by Michelle of UA's Art. Let it be known that Adrian Agreste loves science. His favorite subject is physics. Physics is easy. Physics is constant, and gravity will always be 9.8 meters per second squared. Ladybug will always be that constant. What does that mean, anyway? Meters per second squared. It sounds like a fictional variable just for math. During a photo shoot, Adrian calculates what gravity really means. It's roughly 35 kilometers an hour, or 22 miles per hour. That doesn't feel fast enough, he thinks, while riding home in the back seat. He remembers falling from Roger Cop's car. It had to be faster than that. He tries again. That's 32 feet per second. Oh. In perspective, he reasons, while fingering through a classical masterpiece and his instructor keeping time behind him. That's 10 seconds. 10 seconds to fall from the top of the Eiffel Tower to reach the ground. He'd dive that over a dozen times with Ladybug. Each time, he thought those leaps were too long. The rate he fell for the spotted heroine was faster than that. Because with Ladybug, the pull of gravity is immediate and obvious. She leaps, he falls. People are pulled to her in an instant, and Akuma trying to escape from her is like trying to leave the atmosphere. Adrian sits as Cat Noir from the rooftop of the Trocadero, watching his lady gaze out to the tower beyond. She's the gravity that keeps Paris safe. There is logic and sense and normalcy. There is no danger of floating away. There is no danger in the unpredictable. She is his 9.8 meters per second squared. She is his gravity. Ladybug is the apple to his Isaac Newton. Both fell from the sky. Both leave a man dizzy. And yet, and yet he suspects there's a different kind of gravity at play. Let it be known that Adrian Agrest loves science. Lately, he's taken an interest in geology. He read once that it's impossible to travel in a straight line, that the further he is from the equator, the tighter the circle he will travel, leading back to where he came. He read it has to do with the earth and magnetic fields. He read it had to do with gravity trying to pull him into the earth's molten core. It's not an obvious thing, by the time someone realizes they're not walking straight anymore, it's too late. The circle is almost done. This aspect of gravity is a barely acknowledged fact, like how toilets flush in the opposite direction depending on the hemisphere. Except, he thinks, that's not a good example, even if Chloe thinks otherwise. Marinette Dupain Chen is his sudden interest in geology. It starts as a paired project, where Alia snags Nino as her partner before Adrian can reach out. Marinette is nervous around him, though he doesn't know why. She stutters and stumbles and flails in an ever-exaggerant fashion. He wonders how she can create a bowler hat with delicate embroidery if all she does is make large gestures. He thinks one of these two people has to be true. Bowler hat Marinette or nervous Marinette. Adrian discovers bowler hat Marinette is tried and true. She is shy, there's no question. But the flailing and stutters are just nerves. Her pink room, strewn with fabric and clothes, have a care and calm of someone who is at ease with themselves, who welcomes any and all that come her way, as if she has a gravity of her own. He finds himself turning to look at her in school, dropping by her balcony clad in a cat suit after parole, offering to study together in his limited free time. He's caught in a circle, no matter how much he tries to correct his path, he always winds up at her side. If there is a straight path to loving Ladybug, he supposes he got off course. Adrian circles Marinette, discovering that it's this aspect of gravity that leads him home. Marinette is home. That is his barely acknowledged fact. She is not loud like Ladybug. She doesn't leap so Adrian can fall. She is not quite the immediate cause and effects of physics. Everything about her is quiet, subtle. He thinks her quiet gravity will overtake his ladies one day. He thinks, while setting his book bag on his desk, he should start looking into geophysics, should he ever escape his modeling career. Marinette Dupang Chen is a different kind of gravity than Ladybug. 
His eyes still gravitate to both of them, but he doesn't have to fight with or against Marinette's pull. He surrenders to it. Adrian hears her laugh, so he turns, just a bit more away from Ladybug, and towards the door Marinette pushes open, giggling at a joke. Let it be known that Adrian Agreste loves science. He loves it as much as he loves his lady. And as much as he keeps turning, Adrian may just love Marinette even more. <laughs>